that's a great day. Do your ears feel plugged or clogged and you've tried a lot of things but nothing seems to work? Here with more details about a long-term solution to help ease the pain is Dr. Raza Pasha from Pasha Snoring and Sinus Center and one of his patients, Carol Orsak. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so before the break, we were talking about when we travel, especially, you know, there's a differentiation between, you know, altitude and stuff that your ears just start to pop. It'll usually go away within a day or two. Well, hopefully it goes away within seconds to minutes. Yeah, yeah. no, my, mine's like a day or two. Maybe oh. I got a problem. Maybe yeah, I need yeah. to talk to you. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, when you're when you're flying, you build up negative pressure in your inner ear, and it presents as a feeling that you're underwater. Yeah. And then you have to relieve that pressure. And then you fake lo you yeah. fake yawn, yeah. or you you, you you valsalva, like we do when yeah. we scuba dive. Chew gum. Chew gum. Yeah. And what we're doing is we're pulling against the eustachian tube. Now, there's a tube that goes from behind your nose to the back of your ear or to the middle of your ear. Uh -huh. And that tube is called the eustachian tube. And that's the tube that you pop. That's a tube that when you yawn, you're kind of tugging at it. Yeah. And you're trying to open up that tube so the pressure can be released. Yeah. Now, a lot of us, you know, we think our ears are plugged. But as you've said to us many times, uh, when you see the nose, right, the outside portion of your nose, there's so, it, it's not just that outside portion. That's the right. The nose yeah. consists of a whole lot more in our face. And then the ears are connected to that. That's right. And I always say that this is not an ear problem. This is a nasal problem disguised as an ear problem. So that tube, that you station tube, that goes from, again, from behind your ear, behind your nose, mm -hmm. is lined with the same lining that lines your nose. That's why whenever you have a cold or an upper respiratory infection and you fly, your nose feels like they're plugged, yeah. your, your, your ears feel like they're plugged. Right. And that's because that you station tube is lined with the same lining. So for me, as a, as a sinus doctor, this is a nose problem. This yeah. is not an ear problem. All right, Carol, mm -hmm. what issues were you having? So I've always had issues with my ears since I was a child and I dreaded flying um, and I would try all the tricks and um, so I was wanting to scuba dive and I knew that this was going to be a challenge for me yeah. um, and as a matter of fact um, you know I didn't make it through the course because just after the first pool session I had fluid in my ears yeah. so um, I it's did a miserable feeling isn't it well, it's terrible and it was so disappointing to me because I r really want to get certified and I, I did everything I could. So um, so I did proceed and, and I, I started scuba diving and, um, you know, I'd go, you know, to these great places, Honduras, you know, I'm there for a week. And um, after the first day, I know I've got fluid in my ears and I know I should not dive again and I would proceed. So. Yeah. And of course, one of the other issues with this, Dr. Pasha, is that um, with that fluid in there, you got that warm space mm -hmm. and a lot of infections can happen. That's too. right. And, that, and that's, that's the impetus of, of ear infections. It's a problem with your station tube. You stage two plugs up, doesn't open, you build up pressure, and then eventually you build up fluid, and then that fluid becomes infected, mm -hmm. and just like you have on kids, you get ear infected. Yeah, so Carol, was your thing of, okay, I'm gonna take the risk, I know I'm gonna be miserable, but I'll just yeah. address it with medication. That's right, I was taking antihistamines and decongestants when I dove, and I was trying to clear, I was doing everything I could, um, and I, I, you know, I came to Dr. Posh, I said, look, you know, you've gotta help me in some way. You yeah, because so a lot of us over-medicate, yeah. and the medications, they aren't getting to the root of the problem, which is the thing that you always do, is what is causing anything to happen? I don't wanna medicate a symptom, That's I wanna right. get rid of the problem. Persistent, consistent problem is a problem, and we gotta go deep. And okay. in most of these cases, honestly, it's just dealing with the ear. Okay, tell us what you did. Okay, so once we, we evaluated at her and we, and we do everything we go into allergy testing we look at her sinuses everything then there's a point we have to address the root problem which is that you station tube and as you know we, we pioneered balloon sinuplasty mm -hmm. which is a, a balloon catheter system that we open up the sinuses we use that exact same technology but now we go just a little bit more deeper and if you look at the at the, at the, the diagram there we go right through the nose up into another hole that instead of going your sinuses goes through that eustachian tube and again we do the same technology so basically we it's a plumbing it. problem it's a plumbing problem yeah. and we unplug <laughs> that's what we do yeah. that's what i am i'm yeah. a professional plumber yeah. and what's cool about this like you say you, you pioneered th th that sinoplasty and so what's or, or what's good about that is that it's not your surgeries years ago where you were much more evasive right well a lot of times if it's really really bad we have to put tubes in the ears just yeah. like we do on kids and that's when you put mm -hmm. a tube in the eardrum to kind of relieve that pressure but we're really kind of bypassing the real issue, which is the problem with the eustachian mm -hmm. tube. And now with this new technology that we can do in the office, as well as in the operating room if we have mm -hmm. to, we can now dilate the eustachian tube, which is something that we couldn't do before because where it's located, it's literally mm -hmm. way in the back of your nose. You can't see it and you can't really access it too easily. Okay. But now that we have this new technology, we can get to the root of the problem. We can dilate and we have yeah. excellent results. And once it's open, it's open? And once it's open, it's open, that's yeah. correct. Yeah, all right, so mm -hmm. what differences have you noticed? 
Um, so it was a year and a half ago that I had the procedure done. And since then I've been on two diving trips and I'm able to do 20 dives in a week. Wow. And um, I, the first time I used antihistamines because I was a little bit nervous. This last time I did the whole week without any antihistamines. Just Yeah, because you, know, you were so it. used to doing that before. Right, that right. Okay right. Yeah. 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 And so it's just done. So I got now. brave. I went with no antihistamines and um, I'm, I'm able to clear. I enjoy myself completely. And, you know, I flew home on the airplane and I didn't have any fear on the airplane after my diving yeah, trip. Yeah, because you're, so you're like up so and down. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, okay, so this is one of those things that who should consider doing this? Obviously somebody who it happens all the time or like I said, my, my ears will be plugged for a couple of days and I'm yelling at people for a couple of days and are yelling back at me because right. I can't hear. But who should no, no, consider this? If, if you have, if you can't pop your ears within seconds to minutes when you land, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can, you can cause permanent damage at some point. I mean, you really can, especially if you mm -hmm. pop your ears too strongly. And then the, the, there's the bones in the middle of the ear and there's some very sensitive uh, organs in there that can get damaged. You can have permanent hearing. So anybody who has persistent problems after they fly, mm -hmm. whenever they dive, or if you get recurrent ear infections, yeah. if you get mm -hmm. fluids in your ears. And we've treated even you know teenagers that had persistent problems since they were kids and they got tubes after tubes after tubes. And then we go, okay, look, you know, there's, there's gotta be a different solution to this. And we've dilated them and they've done fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, that is the solution, right? Getting mm -hmm. to, the, to the cause. All right, to make an appointment with Dr. Pasha mm -hmm. at Pasha Snoring and Sinus Center, I'll meet you there. Call their main <laughs> office <laughs> off Southwest Freeway near Kirby. It's 713-523-8800, 713-523-8800, or visit their website, PashaMD.com. What's your next driving trip? I'm um, planning for um, actually the Philippines in the oh, fall. Wow. So, All right. yeah. nothing stopping mm. you now. No. Okay.